All the hits start coming, they don't stop coming, nerds. Ah, oh, man, I guess it's time to talk about the next <laughs> grand hero battle. But before we get into that, uh, this was just announced like a second ago, just before I was about to start the whole Polar Pass thing. Kind of sucks, but we'll have that tomorrow, and then after that, Inheritors of the Light. Anyways, let's get into Lloyd and talk about what's going on. Lloyd is, in fact, coming out at midnight. Yes, midnight tonight on the, I believe it is the 18th. Oh, well, technically he's the 19th, but still, you know, that is Pacific time. So that is 3 a.m. Eastern, and I don't know what other times it would be anywhere between that and the U.S. And, of course, I don't know, Hawaii, Alaska, you know, any other country, unfortunately. I can't really, you know, give you the time zones. But still, that means he's coming, guys, and that means I get to use his beautiful face as a thumbnail. You can thank me later. I want someone to take his face and, like, make it into that SpongeBob meme. Okay, never mind. Never mind, that's a bad idea. Anyways, let's take a look at his map. I'll go over what abilities he has and what we have to look at, okay? So, first off and foremost, here's his map. I'm just gonna move this over. Scooch, just scooch, just scooch. Okay, well, actually, no, that's pretty good. Um, as you can see here, I'm just gonna click around on my tablet real quick. As you can see here, a lot of blue units, uh, at least two. I know, that's a lot, right? An archer on the right side, um, axe user on the flying axe unit on the left, and of course him in the middle. Uh, we can't see what those abilities are yet. We don't know what his abil what what their abilities are, but we do know what his abilities are. Um, by the looks of things, at least from what I can tell, just by introspection, you know, just eyeballing it and looking at it and all that fun stuff. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about what his weapon is in a second because I do know what it does. But he does seem to have pass as a skill and threat and attack as his C skill. Which is, you know, um, okay, cool, um, not, not the most amazing thing. But his weapon is something that seems to be exclusive to him, and it's actually something that's been in the game, or other games, a bit. And that, of course, is Regal Blade. And what it says here is that if the enemy's HP is at 100% when, when he initiates the combat phase, he will have plus two attack and speed. That's, uh, that, hey, that's a pretty good weapon, at least if he's, you know, that's good for maybe, you know, 100 to zeroing someone, um, I'm not too sure at what his skills are gonna be. As you can see here, of course, we can't see his, uh, I believe, god, I, I forget how the stat pool looks when it's like that, but, uh, fairly sure that is his, yeah, it's his attack and his defense that we're seeing here. Um, his attack seems to be 48 on this side, and... 20 defense, not too overly powerful. We don't know what his resistance and his speed are. I'm gonna guess that his resistance, eh, I'm talking. Resistance is probably a bit higher than most, and at least from what I can see, because his defense is a little low, it might be a bit, you know, more, more on the higher end, and his speed might be a bit higher as well. Um, of course, he seems to have threat and attack, which means that getting close to him will be a bit harder for him, uh, will be a bit harder for us, at least in the long run. Um, it's, okay, I mean, there's a lot of blue units, so bringing a green unit that can at least get in there and destroy those guys is not a bad idea. Be aware, though, don't bring along maybe Minerva, don't, I mean, Hector will probably do fairly decently against these guys if you happen to have him just by eyeballing the map right now. Um, I mean, you could bring along someone like Minerva if you can possibly get over there, but of course, there is always the problem of running into the archer on the right-hand side, so you're gonna be, ne you need to be ready, and, you know, hopefully you have a decent green unit that can take care of some of the blues here. Uh, as for the green unit on the side, a good red, red unit will do it, and if you happen to have maybe a good mage, like a Lind, or something. I'm sure you can take care of Lloyd yourself, or any kind of, you know, nice blue unit. Again, we can't actually see what these units have on them, um, and judging by Xander's, uh, you know, his grand battle, they were, they had some actual pretty decent skills. It just really depends on how you go about doing it with them. Um, I mean, some of them might have skills that can completely negate a few things that I'm thinking about just based on the map structure right now. 
Um, the river in the middle does make it a little bit harder to actually get over to the blue units and get rid of the archer as well. So it's really hard to say. I can't also see his special skill in the screenshot, so unfortunately we're going to have to go with that. Eat, whoa, okay. I, I think my tablet just turned off for the evening. <laughs> it's probably a good sign to call it a day, guys. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh, man, I was hoping I would have more music to go with it. But anyways, just a short PSA about what's coming up. Figured we'd take a look at his stats. And that's pretty much all I have to talk about. Um... So, be ready for uh, good old friend Lloyd coming here with his beautiful, beautiful smug face. <sighs> Anyways, I'm out for now, guys. Catch you soon.